Good day, students, and welcome to today's episode of Engage New York Mathematics for you, Grade 3, and that's Mr. G's class. Today, class, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Module 2, Lesson 4. So let's go ahead and review our learning targets before we get started. That's what you're going to go home and tell Mom and Dad that you learned today, and it's actually just a learning target. So here we go. I will be able to solve word problems involving time intervals. Hmm, let me break that down a little bit more. So I will be able to, okay, that's something I'm going to do. I'm going to solve word problems. I'm going to solve word problems, and they're going to involve time intervals. Hmm, okay, I know what time is. Interval, oh yeah, that's like, the amount in between, the space in between, like on a number line, an interval on a number line, an interval on a clock from 0 to 5. Okay, I got it. So, first of all, we're going to look at two graphic organizers today. One of them is a clock, an analog clock, and the other one is a number line. And, of course, on our clock, we have our hour hand and our minute hand. Again, our hour, which is usually bigger and shorter and our thicker I should say and our minute hand which is usually skinnier and longer so here we can see the hour hand is on the three and the minute hand is on the interval of five minutes so it's 305 we're also going to be using a number line which as you can see here has an interval of five minutes so we can see here five it starts with zero and five ten fifteen twenty 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and finally 60. So let's go ahead and just look at a few of those spots on that number line. Again, 0 to 60, just like on a clock. Intervals of 5 minutes, just like on a clock. So as you can see, first, the important point we have on this number line is a half hour. Just like on our clock, we have a half hour as well on the 6. That's important. 30 minutes is a half hour then. We also have a quarter hour, and the quarter hour would be here and the three on the analog clock. At 45 minutes, we have three quarters of an hour, which is sometimes referred to as 15 till. And finally, we have one hour. And as you can see here, for it to be an hour to go, we need to go all the way around in the minute hand, and that would be one hour. All right, so again, let's take a second and th look at what we're going to learn today. Remember, we're going to learn, we're going to be able to solve word problems involving time intervals. So we annotate it, and that's what it looked like. So all right, class, let's get ready to rock and roll. Put your listening ears on and get your math brain ready. Good job. Thanks for listening.